How's it everyone? So cracking on here. Yeah. I've driven from Girona. Now I'm going to be in Andorra for the next two or three weeks. Um, the weather hasn't been too fantastic uh, to start with. Arrived to a bit of snow and sleet at the top of the mountain. But we're not the only guys here. Um, there's a few guys up here. Jai Hindi's up here. Movistar's up here. Uh, Intermarche. Um, I think another team as well. Just uh, Q365. So there's a few guys buckling down here and getting ready for the upcoming races. Uh, we've got the team camp here. 12 guys, 8 spots available for the Tour de France. They're not going to select the guys here, but this is preparation for the races coming up. So some of us are going to Tour de France, I mean Tour de Suisse, and then some of us are going to Tour de Belgium. And the rest, uh, well, obviously it's 8, 7 guys per team. So, um, And then uh, they'll select the guys after tour of Switzerland. This is the first time ever that I've have, uh, had the feeling that I'm on the knife's edge of making the Tour de France team. Um, most times I kind of feel like I'm an automatic, but um, I uh, bring you into my world a little bit. It's uh, not uh, take it for granted to make the Tour de France team. It is a very, very um, prestigious event and it's also one of the toughest events. So you want to be going well. Um, you also don't want to just go just to be a number in the race. And um, so that's why I'm here. That's why I'm preparing. So guys, enjoy. This is going to be it. Two, three weeks. Come, I'll show you a little bit. I'll just show you a little bit of what we're experiencing here. It's, uh, it's not too lacquer, but I, uh, I'm hoping it will improve. We're on top of Pasta La Casa. And uh, it's also known as a drag strip for some of the... Frenchies and the Spanish guys that come here on the weekend on a Sunday to do some drifting. So it's not the best thing to wake up to. But y'all, we're going to roll down today. Uh, you know, the first couple of days yet at altitude, we were at 2,400 meters. So basically, want to be looking after um, ourselves, first of all, coming from good weather to cold weather. And then also just like the adaptation from, you know, sea level to 2,400 meters. So going to be going lower down today. I'll probably drive down because we don't want a wet start just for an hour of descending in the rain and cold weather. Then ride a little bit in the flats, the lower parts, and then uh, drive back up. Um, they say that you need about at least 200 hours of exposure to high altitude. So that's why we're here for uh, 14 days or a little bit more. And uh, that's what we're going to be focusing on. So the first three days, four days is like a bit of adaptation, three hours, four hours, nice and easy below probably like 145 beats per minute and then uh, we'll start ramping up. The rest of the guys haven't all arrived yet. I think we've come a little bit earlier just because some guys live in Andorra and uh, the other part is that um, a few guys are actually scared of the weather and they're waiting for it to turn to come here. So um, anyway, I'm going to crack on. It's time to get going and time to meet the boys for training. This is it, like Africa. <laughs> hey? Yeah, you want to be a pro, don't tell me it's always so nice and easy and lacquer. You know what the good thing is, it's the last time I have to do this, but... Jesus, man. Oh, I enjoy riding my bike, but maybe not, maybe not today. Not, maybe not today. So we're going to drive down, avoid all this mess, Doug, and then we're going to take us down, and then we're going to finish... Uh, Hopefully the weather's a bit better down below. What do you mean I'm taking you down? I'm going back to bed. You, you. No, you. I'm putting the bikes on you driving down. You grafting, bud. No, no. Slacker. Weather's improved. Just one other boy. Hey, Doug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've known Doug for years, eh? When I first turned, ah, we can call it professional, in South Africa, in uh, with Microsoft. He was the mechanic there and now it's come full swing.
So good morning. It's been, uh, this is day two. Eesh. No man. Is this what it takes to win the Tour de France? If this is what these guys do all the time. Gee, Shepa. Um, what do you think? It doesn't stop, eh? Everyone's going training. Everyone's working. So most of the guys are going to drive down again. Um, do a loop in, this, in uh, Spain in Liceo. And uh, most of the guys are starting to arrive now, so. Uh, camp is about to really get going from say two days time so this is the first little phase and then we'll buckle down even more um, we are planning on doing I think like 85 hours this training camp in about 16 days so it's a big load um, then taper off into Swiss Tour Belgium Ossitani those races but uh, yeah it's uh, pretty brutal out there today oh the start uh, we have to drive down, that's all. How's it going, Chris Tapps? It's good, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I, I take a sunscreen. Sunscreen. Good. Well, he's ambitious, got sunscreen, so maybe he knows the weather's better down there. Still waiting for my roomie, Froomey. He's uh, dodging this weather, so. But he'll be here soon. And then I'll get some good stuff. You ever, so you've driven in snow, eh? Before. A little bit. <laughs> Safa driving in snow. Hey? You oh. trust this car, Dylan? <laughs> yeah, I don't trust him, mate. Okay, no. Have we got snow tires on? Hey? No. Have we got. Of course not. We don't. Of course not. Okay. I think, uh, I think we go real easy down here, eh, Doug? Yeah, 100%. Okay. This is when you know you're a real bike rider, eh? When you get out, it doesn't matter what the weather condition is, you still do it. Just do it. How's it going? So, as you can see, like, there's a couple teams here staying up in Pitmeyer and uh, all got our own speeches. It's like going to school again. We all uh, share the same place, come here for the same ideas, doing the same thing. And uh, got our own fridges, you know, it's like, it's like a, yeah, real school days. So anyway, um, everyone here is buckling down. Everybody's, uh, like I said, having to, tra having to go down by cars. Uh, just because the weather's been so bad but the sun has come out at the end of day two here for our camp so i'm hoping it clears out a bit of the snow and i'm hoping that we can start to get to ride up to the hotel or um, essentially when it gets much better to ride down from the hotel that will be ideal because uh, every day we have to go down in the cars by like one hour and then come back by one hour just because it's been so hectic and so difficult to get up to the hotel so now uh things are going to be a little bit better uh, we have scheduled for these 18 days um 18 or 19 days about 85 hours of training that's what the coaches and everybody's got in store for us so the adaptation is going to finish tomorrow on day three uh we'll do a nice cruisy 
five hour sprint and then uh, an easy day and then we're going to crack into some efforts um, and then by then the rest of the guys should probably join us you know some of the guys already live at altitude so they haven't had to come up earlier uh, some guys are scared of the weather and they haven't come either but uh, we should have a full team by Wednesday so um, then like I said 12 guys 8 spots mano and mano it's not a racing camp that's what they say but like I said everybody's out there to prove something so um, let's see how we go let's see how we go it's lacquer so check out Also, man, shoot me, a, shoot me a little comment below if you guys want me to touch on anything. If you want me to ask someone something, maybe I can get some of the guys to have a little chat. Um, let's see how we go. But it'll be cool to get a bit of, uh, get something for you guys. Something lacquer, you know. And um, also, check the Oak store, guys. There's some new merch on there. Some new stuff on there. So head over there. Also, because you guys are so lacquer. I think uh, it's time to give you guys another code. So I'll give you a discount code uh, for all you lacquer eggs who've been uh, watching the channel and supporting me. And so guys, check below. It's a code that's going to flash up here at the bottom probably somewhere. And use that code. Uh, it'll be for like the next two weeks or so. And hopefully you can get some new merch. There's some new cool stuff in there. And hopefully I'll get to um, see you eggs posting about it. So enjoying it, getting part of the crew. Being lacquer, that's the most important thing. So let's get out there, guys. I'll bring you some more stuff from the training camp. I hope you enjoy it. And remember, shoot me some stuff below so that I can actually like ask some guys some questions. Ah, oh, I think it's body fat tomorrow. Measurement. It's like a feared thing, eh? That's so feared. But no, maybe I'll show you that in the next video. So guys, wait till the next video and uh thanks for watching. Cheers. Be like a...